Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using two paper collections. I have Adventure Awaits and Grain and Grunge. For die sets, I'll be using Lovely Layers Slice and Stump, Heart Hugs with the Adorable Critters, Lovely Layers Trees, Wood Grain 3D Embossing Folder, and finally, Mini Messages Every Day and Mini Messages Banners. Everything is from the new Adventure Awaits collection, except for heart hugs. I selected a lovely green pattern paper from the Adventure Awaits paper pad, and I'll be embossing it with the wood grain 3D embossing folder. To get the perfect sandwich, I'm using Spellbinder's Universal Plate System. The sandwich for a 3D embossing folder is A, which is the platform base, and D, which is an adapter plate. And look at the beautiful detail. Now, depending on the thickness of the paper you're embossing, you may need to adjust the sandwich layers. But with the pattern paper, using A and D together worked perfectly. I'm adding a little bit of gold shine just along the outside edge of this embossed paper. I'm using Honeybee Stamps Metallic Gold Ink. The entire center will be covered up with images and a sentiment, so I'm really focusing on just that outside edge. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and also some of Honeybee Stamps Precision Tip Glue just to make sure it lays nice and flat since it is an embossed surface. Then I'll add my card front onto a card base. Now I'll start working on the wood slices. I selected two sizes and cut out two of the smaller size. The center of the wood slice, I used some light tan cardstock, and I'm adding a little extra color using Catherine Pooler's Spiced Ink Color and also icing on the cake. I'm adding that darker brown along the outside edge. The background piece of the wood slices I cut out from Honeybee Stamps Green and Grunge Collection. I'm adding a little extra color along the edge of that background piece using the icing on the ink color. I'll flip over one of the pieces so you can see the difference between an inked up die cut piece and just the plain cardstock. Adding that little bit of ink really does make that image pop. Now I'll adhere the wood slice pieces together using the precision tip glue. I am placing an acrylic block on top for some added weight while that glue dries. You can't see it in the video, but there is an etched line on the inside of that background piece, and that makes it really easy to line up the two pieces together. Once those are finished, I'll set them aside and start working on the adorable critters. This card will feature three critters. I have the hedgehog, the bear, and also the fox. The Heart Hugs die set was released earlier this year, and it's still one of my favorite. I absolutely love the Sweet Critters. I used some dark brown and craft colored cardstock for the Hedgehog, and I'll add a little bit of the icing on the cake ink to the quills and also its body. The body of the Hedgehog does have an etch line for the separation of the head, but to make that stand out a little bit more, I placed the die back on top then I'm using my blender brush to add a little extra ink underneath. And this will add a little more separation between the head and the body. I cut out the polar bear from some light gray cardstock. And the ink color I'm using is Twilight from Catherine Pooler. And I'll do the same technique that I did for the hedgehog. Place the dye back on top, use my blender brush and add ink just to the body. That way there is some separation between the head and the body. The final critter is my favorite. I love this fox image. I used some light peach and some reddish orange cardstock for the body. And the ink color I'm using is Spice from Catherine Pooler. For the body, the only area you'll see are the cheeks. So I'm just adding ink there. Once I've inked up all of the pieces, it's time to assemble the adorable critters. I'll start with the hedgehog, put glue on the back of the body and adhere it to that background quill piece. I'll start with the main portion of the animals and add the eyes and nose later. For the bear, I am adding an extra piece and this is actually the same piece that goes on the belly of the fox. 
I cut it out from some craft colored cardstock and I'm adding it above the nose to create the snout on the bear. Bobby on Honeybee Stamps design team inspired me for this step. She is super talented and I love how she assembled the heart hug critters. So I thought it would be fun to try that step for my bear. Here's that same piece that I'm adding to the belly of the fox. Although once my card is all assembled, you won't see that portion at all. One of the fun things about the heart hug critters, part of their arms are cut separate so they can hold an item. Although for my card, they won't be holding anything. Now that I have the main bodies all assembled, it's time to add eyes, inside of ears, and the nose. I am switching glues to Barely Art glue since it has the tiny metal tip. Makes it easier when you need just a teeny tiny drop of glue. And many of these pieces are super small. I'm also using an embellishment wand to pick them up. I'll first add that small drop of glue, then adhere the eyes, nose, and inside of the ears. Their faces are very simple, but so cute. I use black cardstock for the nose and eyes, and a light pink cardstock for the inside of the polar bear's ears, and a lighter peach colored cardstock for the inside of the fox's ears. I have just the eyes and the nose of the fox left, and the nose is so small. You could change that piece out and add one of the eyes if you want a rounder nose. So there are my critters all assembled. I'll set those aside for now. I cut out several of the lovely layer trees, just the background piece. I'm adding some ink to the edge using Catherine Pooler's Cargo Ink Color. It's a very dark brownish green color. The green cardstock color I use for the trees is very close to the green pattern paper that I'm using for the background. I really want the critters and the wood slices to stand out on the card, so everything else I was going for a tone on tone look. This isn't a typical card style for me. I usually like to focus more on the pattern paper, but sometimes I just want to play with all the fun die sets that are out there. And Honeybee Stamps has some really great die sets. Once I've inked up all of the trees, I'll start adding them to the background. I'm alternating the different sizes of trees. There's one that's short, the other's tall. You won't really see the difference since most of it will be covered up with the critters and the wood slices. I'm creating a forest behind the animals. I will leave a gap in the very center since that's where the large polar bear will go. For that final tree, I was trying to fill in a gap on the left side. Part of that tree is hanging off the edge. I'll simply flip over my card, use my scissors, and cut off the extra. Now I'll add the critters. I am adding some thin foam dimension behind the polar bear and the fox, just behind their head. I'll use Honeybee Stamps white foam strips. Cut two small pieces. I'll remove the release paper behind the polar bear, add glue toward the bottom. Since the polar bear is fairly tall, I don't want the bottom to show through underneath the wood slices, so I am using my scissors to trim it off. I did need to wipe off some of the glue with my finger. Then I'll adhere the polar bear in the center of the card. Next, I'll add the hedgehog on the right side of the polar bear. I'll adhere it down using some glue. I'll put some foam dimension behind just the fox's head. Remove the release paper, add glue behind the body, and adhere the fox on the left side of the polar bear. I'll be popping up all of the wood slices. I switch to the black foam strips. These are also from Honeybee Stamps. I'll make sure to get good coverage so there isn't one area that sags. Then I'll remove the release paper. The larger wood slice will go in front of the polar bear, and the two smaller wood slices will go in front of the hedgehog and the fox. I want to make sure to get placement right, so before I press down that wood slice, I'm holding up the smaller slices, and the two smaller slices will overlap the larger wood slice. Once I add all of the wood slices, you can see how I covered up their arms or paws. The three critters are just hanging out in the forest, standing behind some tree slices. At the very bottom of the card, I'll be adding more of the treetops, and I've already inked up all of these pieces. 
I will be popping up those trees using Honeybee Stamps black foam dots with tab. This is the 1 16th inch thickness. So it's twice as thick as the thin black strips. I'll add that small piece of foam dimension first. And I am cutting the foam circle smaller since I don't want any of that foam dimension to show. The little tab makes it super easy to remove the release paper. When you cut them in half, it does make it a little trickier. I just need to get my nail underneath the release paper. As I fill in that front area, I'm alternating the different tree tops. It does look a little odd with the rest of the tree hanging off the end, but once I have those all adhered, I'll flip over the card, use my scissors, and cut off the extra. So there are my cute little critters standing in the forest, and I love how they really pop against that dark green background. I cut out a pink heart, and this die is from the Heart Hug set. I'm adding a little bit of the metallic gold ink along the top and side of the heart. When I was trying to add the ink, I thought I would have enough just on the brush, but I did need to pull out the ink pad again. Then I'll put glue on the back and adhere it to the center of the larger tree slice. I've already stamped and cut out the sentiment, thinking of you, and I did put some thin foam dimension on the back. I'll add my sentiment right on top of the pink heart. For embellishments, I'm going very simple and adding just one crystal glimmer enamel sticker, and I'll adhere it on the right side of the heart at the top. I'm using the smallest size, and it kept getting stuck to my fingers. Then for a final finishing touch, I'll use a white gel pen and add a highlight to all of their eyes, and also add some cute little polka dots for their cheeks and add a little detail on the inside of the hedgehog and fox's ears. So there is my finished card, and I did make two using this design. I absolutely love how this card turned out. Those critters are adorable, and I love how they're just standing in the forest. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Honeybee Stamps Adventure Awaits release has so many fun products. I will be sharing a video focusing on the Adventure Awaits paper pad. It's a gorgeous collection and I highly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.